A big thank you to Paid Memberships Pro for sponsoring this video. Paid Memberships Pro is the best free membership plugin for WordPress. If you want to go pro, visit paidmembershipspro.com forward slash Jamie for a special discount. Yesterday I discovered something completely by accident when I was working on a website. It's incredibly helpful, but completely secret. Now I'm going to show you what it is, but I'm also going to show you four other things that you probably don't know you could do with WordPress. Check this first one out. This is super cool. What I've done here is added a group block and I'm adding a background gradient to it. And I'm setting the bottom gradient to be white so we get this lovely angled effect. And you can see here I can change the depth of the gradient by just moving the color pickers in the gradient picker above. But let's make this even cooler. What I'm going to do now is add two extra control points within my gradient color picker and I'm going to set those both to black. Now all I need to do is squish my control points together to get this lovely edge effect on my gradient. And if you want a thinner black line, just squish them closer together. It can get quite tricky. If you want a wider black line, just move them further apart. The next two tips are super useful, especially if you're a beginner. Did you know that you can open the list view by default so that every time you open or create a brand new page or post, the list view will automatically open. It's super useful when you're creating new pages. Just come to the three little dots in the top right of your screen, click on those options, come down here to preferences, come across here and then select always open list view. Just toggle that on. And now the next time you come to edit a page or a template, the list view will automatically open. It also works in the site editor. While we're in preferences, there are three things that I always do for every single WordPress website. This is really gonna help you if you're a beginner as well. The first is I move this floating toolbar. You'll see in the options up here, there's an option to fix that to the top of the page. It just gets it out of the way, much easier to work with. The second one is I always turn off full screen mode. This is incredibly helpful if you're a beginner because it brings back all your lovely menus. And the third one is I go to preferences and I turn off include pre-published checklist. If you don't turn off the check, then every time you come to publish a page, it's going to nag you and say, are you ready to publish? And frankly, I know I'm ready to publish, so I don't need to be asked. But now it's time to show you the top secret thing that I discovered completely by accident yesterday. I'm calling it WordPress's secret design view. Here's how to find it. Go to the site editor, go to any of your templates, come to the top right and click on browse styles, and you get a zoomed out view, a design view of what your template or page is going to look like. It's absolutely fantastic for designing. You can also use it within the site editor to preview your pages. Here's a look at my contact page. And it just gives you a whole better view on what the actual page design is gonna look like. Because being able to zoom out and actually see the whole of the page design is so, so helpful when you're designing stuff. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, well, why is this so hard to find? It's such a great feature. I tend to agree with you. It would be fantastic if there was an easier way to find it. But now you know. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is useful? Will you use it? I certainly will be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button, it would be amazing because it makes a huge difference. It really, really does in terms of how many people get to see this video. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>